If you've never gotten around to decorating your kitchen or it's time for a refresh, stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how I am restyling my kitchen. Let's get started. Hey decor friend, I'm Tamara with Design Your Way Home and I believe that decorating should not be difficult. So welcome to my internet home where I break down decorating into easy to follow steps so you can confidently turn your house into a home you love one small space at a time. Okay, so as you can see, I have cleared the space behind me, um, and that's because I always like to start with a blank slate when it comes to decorating. One of the best ways to pay attention to each zone in your kitchen is to start with a blank slate. Okay, so we're gonna start with the area behind me, which I'm calling zone one. This is actually our tea and coffee area. If you've watched my video about organizing your kitchen, then the drawer that's right below that spot is where we reorganized all of my husband's tea item, uh, well, my tea, um, and then my husband's coffee items. And that's the perfect place for us to set up shop. So I am going to break down everything that we're gonna put here. So note to self, I did not realize that a clear coffee mug was sitting on this bad boy and it just dropped. So we're going to take a break and clean that up. Okay, so the glass is all up. However, it is now time for me to get ready to drive myself to work. Um, so I'm gonna have to pick up this video when I get back home this evening. In the meantime, I am going to do a quick wipe with um, probably some Lysol wipes just to make sure I've got all the little bits of glass so that my family walking around throughout the day doesn't get chipped uh, with glass on their feet. Until then, I'll catch up with you in a few hours. Okay, so I'm back from work. The mess has been cleaned up from this morning and I've got the coffee maker right there. And now um, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some of the other area, some of the other items to the coffee and tea area and fill you in as I go along. Okay, so this right here is a Marble Lazy Susan. As you can see, it spins around. And the reason why I picked this is because my current countertops are a gray color. They are a little dark for the space. We actually want to replace them at some point. Um, and I would like to replace them with a white marble or lighter countertop, marble-esque look, marble adjacent look. Um, and so I, I figured that while I'm getting this piece of decor, one, it will help lighten up the space that I currently have, and two, it will go with what we are hoping to change the countertops to later. And the reason why I got this Lazy Susan is actually for a couple of reasons. Um, one, when I just set the decor items that I'm gonna put on top in a moment here, everything just looked cluttered. And when you're working with decor, if you wanna prevent an area from looking cluttered, the thing is to add a footprint. And that would be a marble, a lazy or a lazy Susan, regardless of the material. It would also be things like a tray or a bowl or something to ground um, or provide a foundation to what you're gonna set on top. It helps you gather things together, it helps prevent things from looking cluttered, and it's called your foundation in decorating. So this serves as my foundation, and also I got the Lazy Susan because we use everything that's gonna be right here. Um, I'll walk you through it in a minute, but everything that we need, the Lazy Susan allows us to move it around easily and get to all the jars that we need. So one of the items that we use, or my husband uses all the time, is this coffee grinder. It needs to be charged, and so, 
typically stays in the back. One, to get to the plug easily, and two, because it's one of the taller items. And when you're decorating, another tip is to put the taller items in the back and the smaller items in front. All right, and this tree uh, was actually somewhere else, I can't remember where, um, but having this in the kitchen just adds some greenery so that everything isn't gray and white in my kitchen. And then last but not least for this area, I have these jars that I got from Target. Uh, this is a sugar jar and we actually keep sugar in it or a sugar substitute. My husband uses uh, Truvia and so these go in there. It's nice, pretty and decorative. And it kind of sits up front while this coffee jar also from Target. Mmm, wow, actually has coffee beans. I wish there was smell of vision because this smells so good. And I don't even drink coffee, but this smells good. Okay, and that goes up front. right beside the stove top and I'm going to fill it with items that are both beautiful and functional. Before I get started decorating this area, there are a few things about it that I don't like. One of them is right here, this electrical socket. That one over there, even though you can see it right now, it's part of the um, corner of the area, so I'm not going to worry about that right now. But this bad boy, I actually want to hide. So I am going to use some cutting boards as decoration. I'm going to use some wooden spatulas that are actually very, very pretty and go along with uh, the wood tones that I have in the house. And let's see, oh, some um, salt and pepper jars I have and a matching um, spoon holder. So all that's going to go over here and it's going to look super pretty and like I said, be functional at the same time. Okay, so starting with the cutting board. So remember, I had just given a tip about putting the largest item in the back. So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna start with the larger cutting board right here. And then layer with the smaller board. The goal here is to put it at an angle so that where they don't slide down. Also to cover the electrical outlet. Okay, okay, so I don't know if you noticed, but this is the same jar pattern as the jars over there um, in the coffee area. Um, got this at Target too. And these wooden spatulas, I don't think the I don't think the wood grain color is really coming through on the camera, but in real life, these are really pretty to me. Um, like I said, I have wood patterns around different rooms in my house, and I wanted to carry that into the kitchen, so that's what I have here. Um, this is doing a good job of holding these boards up. I've never had these boards fall, and I've had these positioned like this for probably a couple of years now. Okay, so the other item I'm gonna add over here, it actually goes right there for decoration. These are measuring cups that were a gift to me and they're beautiful. Um, I use them all the time, so um, I, I leave them out because they're so beautiful, but they're also functional. And they're easy to get to when I'm at here at the cooktop cooking. I add the salt and pepper shaker right here to give this area some style and personality and to also just fill this in a bit and I'm gonna let my, and I'm gonna add my last finishing touch which is this tree it's the twin to the other tree that's over there I feel like it helps balance the space out um, there's a tree on one side of the cooktop and a tree on the other side and this is just gonna go right here in the back Again, adding some color and a little bit more personality to the area. And I almost forgot, this is my spoon holder. It goes right there and when I'm cooking, 
I'm gonna set my spatula right there. And when I'm not cooking, it just goes along with the beautiful motif. Okay, so the next area I'm gonna work on is right behind me. It is the corner. And I gotta say, when I first moved into this house, I had no idea how to decorate the kitchen countertop when it came to my corner. It took me a long time to figure out what would work. And I didn't want something that was purely decorative and I never used it. And I didn't want something that was functional, but just unsightly. And I think I came up with the right compromise for me. So let me show you. Oh, this is it. It's our cookbook stand. I love that it's a trellis look. I love that it's also white and it goes with the rest of my kitchen decor. And um, we also decorate around it. So I'm gonna add some other items and then like let you see the finished uh, design. Okay, so on the other side of the cookbook stand, we use the knife set a lot. So having it front and center is always so helpful. And then to make it look even better, I add this. Stay tuned. We have these candles here. Let me move it so that you can see me and the candles. Drop it down a bit. So this is how I have styled the corner area. It are, again, items that we use all the time and look pretty. And actually, let me show you some of the things that we put on this cookbook stand. So this book always stays up here for me because I'm the vegan in the house. It looks pretty, it's decorative. And then because we like to spice up with different meals, um, we keep our old HelloFresh uh, recipe cards. Uh, the ones that we like, we tend to have a check plus by them. And honestly, we keep them up here too. Might not be that pretty, but during a typical week, I'm just keeping it real. <laughs> so we keep these up here, and as the week goes on, we just kind of go through them. We choose the recipes that we want, and it's very close access to the cooktop and the oven. And when we don't have those up, we just put a colorful cookbook. So one of the last areas in my kitchen that I'm gonna show you how to decorate is this long counter. It goes obviously from the corner all the way down to here. And with all of that space in the background, in the beginning, I was a little lost as to what to do. I don't want a cluttered look, but I didn't want it to be completely blank. And I finally settled on this design. I love it so much. And I'm gonna walk you through what I added. Okay, so for this space, I started with function. Let's just keep it real. We use this toaster pretty much every single day. And it needed access to a plug, so it goes over here in the corner. Um, the next thing that I added, because I still have a lot of space between the corner and over here, is I added this bowl with these decorative spheres or decorative balls inside. And let me kind of tell you, how I came up with this. Um, so again, I love wood grain and wood textures in the house. And so I picked that bowl. There's a similar dough bowl over at my dining room table that looks really nice. And I have wood in other rooms in the home and this is an open concept floor plan. And then, um, and with it being long, it gives the eye something to look towards in that space without being too crowded. And then these balls I found by half and chance. I found these, oh gosh. I'm gonna take a chance and say I found these at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, yes, I believe I got these at Hobby Lobby. It was a couple of years ago. And I happened to find four, and all four of them fit perfectly here. This has the 
brown, if you can see, it's showing up brown and not black. It has the brown um, along with the white, and that goes along with the kitchen, with the white cabinets, along with the wood grain of the bowl. And the last thing I put over here, it's something else that we use every day. This is my electric kettle. So this is what I use to make my tea every morning. And again, it goes by the plug and it sits right there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my kitchen. Okay, so just like the countertops in the kitchen, I have completely cleared and wiped off my island so it's clean, it is bare, it is ready for me to decorate. Uh, doing that gives me a nice, fresh slate to look at and make sure that everything I used to have on my island, I still want to have on my island. So for this space, I'm gonna start with function and that means I'm gonna add my paper towel holder. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add my soap dispenser. That's typically the setup over here. Um, in the future, I probably will end up putting um, a tray with some decorative hand soaps, but for now, this is what we use. It's, it, it's what works for us. We have the touch-free um, faucet here. You can touch it at the top or at the bottom. And we have the hands-free soap dispenser, and that's what we like. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate at the edge of the counter where we sit. that the pictures are there you can tell that there's a lot more color on the island and the bowl is also functional as well as decorative all right guys so i just showed you how i decorate my entire kitchen and walk you through some of the challenging areas like the corner a long countertop and your island and i want you to know you don't have to decorate your kitchen alone anymore you can grab my Decorating Made Easy Jumpstart by clicking the link or by going to the description or by visiting my website, designyourwayhome.com slash jumpstart.